Nikola Tesla, a genius whose ideas were way ahead of his time. He's known for his work with electricity, but there's more to his story. Tesla had some inventions that sound like they're straight out of a sci-fi movie. The earthquake machine and the death ray. These weren't just ideas on paper, they were real projects that Tesla believed could change the world. Were these inventions just wild dreams or something more? Hello and welcome back to Eccentric History. In today's video, we're uncovering the truth behind Tesla's most mysterious and frightening creations. But before we do that, hit the like button and subscribe for more fascinating stories. Let's get started. The Earthquake Machine Nikola Tesla Best known for revolutionizing how electricity is transmitted and used, was not just a pioneer in the field of electrical engineering. He also ventured into realms that seemed almost magical. One such endeavor was his earthquake machine. The roots of his invention trace back to Tesla's deep interest in oscillations and energy transfer, a field he believed held untapped potential for humanity. The Origin of the Earthquake Machine the journey of the earthquake machine began in 1896. Tesla was deeply fascinated with the idea of transferring energy without wires, a concept he had been toying with since his earlier days. He envisioned a machine that could generate precise oscillations or rhythmic movements and transfer these vibrations over long distances. The heart of this device was what Tesla called the oscillator. It was a carefully engineered tool designed to produce mechanical vibrations at various frequencies. Tesla's oscillator was groundbreaking because it could potentially harness the natural frequency of objects and even the Earth itself. In 1898, Tesla's lab at 48E Houston Street in New York became the testing ground for this ambitious project. Here, he set up the oscillator and started his experiments. The machine worked by generating powerful and rhythmic pulses similar to the steady beat of a drum but on a much grander scale. The consequences were more dramatic than anyone, including Tesla, had anticipated. The vibrations were so intense that they shook the building, rattling windows and causing the structure to tremble. Panic followed among his neighbors who, fearing an earthquake, alerted the authorities. Tesla, realizing the potential havoc his machine could wreak, had to terminate the experiment. The incident highlighted Tesla's machine's raw power, hinting at its capability to resonate with the natural frequency of objects and possibly even larger structures. This moment marked a pivotal point in Tesla's career, showcasing his ability to manipulate natural forces, yet also revealing the unpredictable and potentially dangerous nature of his inventions. It was a reminder that with great power comes great responsibility, a principle that Tesla struggled with throughout his career. From Vision to Reality the incident at the lab highlighted the earthquake machine's potential and limitations. Tesla envisioned using it for peaceful purposes like wireless energy transfer and even earthquake prevention. He imagined a world where energy could be sent through the earth, emerging where needed, without the need for sprawling power lines. More ambitiously, he theorized that a controlled version of the machine could counteract seismic waves, potentially preventing natural disasters. However, this vision faced significant challenges. The primary hurdle was the immense power required to generate oscillations that could travel long distances through varied geological structures. Tesla's prototype, while potent enough to cause a scare in a New York neighborhood, couldn't achieve the reach or control necessary for practical applications. Tesla's Legacy in Modern Seismology Despite these setbacks, Tesla's work laid the groundwork for future innovations. His ideas about using the Earth as a medium for energy transfer and vibration-based exploration were ahead of their time. Today, we see the echoes of Tesla's vision in the field of seismology. Modern seismologists use similar principles to study the Earth's interior. They generate controlled vibrations, often using mechanical pistons or controlled explosions, which travel through the ground. By analyzing how these waves reflect off different geological layers, scientists can map underground structures and even locate resources like oil and minerals. This technique at its core mirrors Tesla's early experiments with mechanical oscillations and energy transmission. While the earthquake machine never materialized as a tool for preventing earthquakes or wireless energy transfer, its legacy is felt in modern science. Tesla's innovative approach to using natural frequencies and vibrations opened new pathways in scientific research, proving that even ideas that seem too bold or impractical can pave the way for future discoveries. 
His earthquake machine, a blend of ambition and ingenuity, remains a reminder of Tesla's unbounded imagination and his relentless pursuit of knowledge. Before we move on, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing content. Now, let's continue. The Death Ray As Nikola Tesla's life progressed into the 1930s, his fortunes and reputation underwent a significant decline. Once renowned as a pioneering inventor, Tesla's later years told another story. Living a solitary life in various hotels across Manhattan, Tesla's days of grand inventions seemed to be fading into obscurity. But even in these times, his mind was still a reservoir of groundbreaking ideas, one of which was the infamous death ray. Tesla's death ray, a concept that sounds like it belongs in the pages of a science fiction novel, was actually a serious project undertaken by the inventor. He envisioned a weapon that could send concentrated beams of energy across great distances, capable of downing enemy aircraft and offering a new form of warfare technology. Tesla claimed that this beam composed of metal ions could travel at a speed of 270,000 miles per hour and deliver destructive energy with pinpoint accuracy. Despite these bold claims, the specifics of the death ray design and function remained shrouded in mystery, with Tesla only hinting at the existence of new physical principles that underpinned its operation. The Skepticism Surrounding the Death Ray The public and media of the time were captivated by the concept of the death ray. Newspapers and magazines around the world reported on Tesla's new invention with a mix of awe and skepticism. The idea of a single weapon possessing such immense power was both fascinating and terrifying. As tensions rose globally in the lead-up to World War II, Tesla's death ray was often mentioned in the context of a potential game-changer in the event of military conflict. Speculations arose about the capabilities of such a weapon, with some imagining it as a tool for peace, ensuring no nation would dare to start a war. Others feared its destructive potential, picturing cities leveled in moments. Tesla did little to clarify the true nature of the death ray, adding to the growing mythology around it. However, alongside the public fascination also came a fair share of skepticism. Many doubted the feasibility of such a weapon, and experts questioned the scientific principles Tesla claimed to have used. This skepticism only grew after Tesla's death in 1943. In the wake of his passing, the US government seized Tesla's papers from his hotel room, hoping to discover whether the death ray was more than just a fantasy of an aging inventor. Their search led them to a mysterious box in another hotel vault, rumored to contain a prototype or plans of the death ray. However, the box's contents were anticlimactic, revealing nothing more than common electrical components and certainly no evidence of a revolutionary new weapon. The Death Ray's Impact on Future Technologies Despite the skepticism and disappointing findings, Tesla's concept of the Death Ray had a lasting impact. During the Cold War, the idea of a powerful beam weapon resurfaced in the form of the Strategic Defense Initiative, proposed by the Reagan administration. The program, often called Star Wars, aimed to develop a space-based missile defense system that bore striking resemblance to Tesla's Death Ray. Although SDI never came to be effective, Tesla's ideas continued to influence military and scientific thinking around advanced weaponry and defense systems. The mere concept of such a weapon altered the trajectory of research and development, pushing scientists and engineers to explore new boundaries in energy transmission and warfare technology. It also sparked public and political discourse on the ethical implications of developing such potent weapons. The death ray remains one of the most controversial and mysterious aspects of Tesla's legacy. It's a depiction of his never-ending influence. Tesla's later years, although marked by decline, still had some instances of brilliance that continued to stir public imagination and shape scientific inquiry. His death ray, a blend of futuristic vision and speculative science, encapsulates the enigmatic nature of Tesla's genius and the eternal intrigue surrounding his work. Even in the absence of concrete evidence or successful prototypes, Tesla's death ray lives on as a symbol of the boundless possibilities of human imagination and technological ambition. Tesla's visions, a mix of groundbreaking potential and science fiction, continue to inspire and intrigue. Were these inventions merely dreams of a brilliant mind, or did they hold secrets that could change our world? As we close the chapter on Tesla's most frightening creations, one can't help but wonder what other astonishing ideas might have sprung from the mind of this inventor, and how might they have reshaped our understanding of science and technology? 
let us know in the comments.